Hello everyone, welcome back again to On How Channel. My name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again, why is that? Because simply, I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to change the banner button color for your Shopify store. And I will show you actually both the banner color, the background color I mean, as well as the text color. Because obviously, in order to change the background color, if you did change it to a brighter color, uh, the text, which is white, will not look properly. So if you want to change the background color for the button as something brighter, then you should change the text color to something darker. Makes sense, right? So what is the point of showing you how to change the button color without showing you how to change the color for the text on it? That's the issue I saw a lot of videos. They show you how to change the button color but not the text and changing the text color for the button when you're changing the background color is actually a must that's why in this video i will show you how to change both as i said the background color as well as the text color for the banner button on your shopify store and we will do that without using any apps or anything like that we will do that by using a really short code that will do the trick for changing both actually the button background color as well as the text color for the banner for the button and this trick will work for every team Whatever if you're using down team or refresh team or any of the free teams provided by Shopify, this trick will work just fine for you. But if you are using some paid team and you did implement this trick and it didn't work for you, make sure to contact the team providers because obviously you paid for it and you should get the support to implement whatever you need. But I think this trick will work for every team because it does call the button from anywhere and it did change the color for it for both background and the text as I said. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. But before we start, if this video helped you out, help me out pressing that like button. I would really appreciate it. It's completely free and it will take you like a millisecond to click on it and it will make me happy and motivate me from making more videos for you guys. So I would really appreciate it. And let's just jump to it. As you can see, by the way, this is the Shopify store that I do all the tutorials on. And for example, you can see the video banner right here with the button and so on, as well as the transparent header and the video banner is playing underneath the header and the hover effect for the menu in here, as well as removing the underlines on the menu. When you, once you hover over them, it will show an underline. I did show a video on how to remove them, just like you see right now. And a lot more actually, not just these, even the change, removing the card icon from the header as well as the search icon from the header, everything that you cannot just do from the team customizer, I did show how to do them really easy and uh, just by adding your own code without using any apps because apps can slow down the Shopify store and slow Shopify store means lower conversion rate. That's really obvious. And you see this button right here. This is not what I'm talking about because this video banner right here is actually uh, implemented by using a custom section. So this have different options. Uh, what I'm talking about is the regular uh, banner for the down team or any Shopify team that you're using. So let's just close this and access the online store from here. Then we will access the regular down team. And as I said, this trick will work for every Shopify team. I'm just using down team for demonstration because right now a lot of people are using down team. So that's the most popular one. So let's just click on the three dots in here and let's just click on preview. So this is what I'm talking about here. This button right here for the banner, as you can see. So we will change, as I said, the background as well as the text color. So let's just keep this in here. We will do the changes and come back in here, reload the page and see if the background color as well as the text color will change or not. So let's just get back in here. The next thing you're going to do is click on the three dots again on the left of customize and click on edit code right here. And then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. The next thing you're going to do is access assets folder right here at the bottom of the page. Simply click on it and it will show you some files in here and click on base.css. It will be either team.css or base.css. But I think most of the teams nowadays, they use base.css. So simply click on it and it will show you some CSS code in here. And no worries, you will not edit any code or anything like that. As I said, I will provide you with really short code and we'll do the trick. So the next thing you're going to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. Let me drag this down because it's a pretty big file. And here we are, we are at the bottom of the page. So make sure you do that and make sure you do access a fresh line, nothing on it. After that, scroll down the description box as always and you will find the link name it as code. And again, you will not have to pay for it or anything like that. It's completely free. Simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're gonna see a very short code that will do the trick as you can see. So this little code right here will change the color for both. The background color for the button as well as the text color. 
So make sure to select this code and make sure you select the whole code. Even if you forgot to select the dot in here, it will not work. So keep that in mind. Let's just right click and copy. After that, let's just get back to the code editor. Then we will paste it at the bottom of base.css. So that's why I said access the bottom of the file. After that, simply paste it in here. Then you see this uh, two hashtags codes in here. This is the colors. So the background is obviously for the background color for the bottom, right? And the, the one below it right here, it says just color is the text color. So let's just select this one and copy. Let's just open it in Google search engine and it will show us this widget right here with the color. And as you can see, so we did select this one that says color and this color right here will be the text color. So obviously make sure to play around with this and pick the color that you want and copy the code for it. For example, this one, just copy the code for it. Uh, let's just go for something brighter like purple. Yeah, let's just copy the code for it and get back in here and replace it with the previous one. So let's just select this one and paste it in here. And after that, let's just click on save button. And right now let's just get back to Shopify. So reload the page and the background color. I didn't check, let me check. So let's just paste it in here. Let's just paste it in a new one actually. Here we go. So the background color for the button will be this one and the text color will be purple, this one. So let's just access Shopify store and reload the page and see if that will work or not. And it will actually, because I know it does. So let's just reload the page. And here we go. Check out the new color now. As I said, the background is this one right here. And the text color is this one right here. So obviously play around with this one to select each color you want and change it to your liking. And that's how you change the banner button color for your Shopify store without using any apps or anything like that. And as I said, if you have any questions, any video requests, Make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment. If you are wondering again, why is that? Because simply, I'm working for you. Otherwise, I think my job is done for this video. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.